when we talked about sauna and hypothermia dome sauna, then that means we put our wife into the pressure cooker, we turn on the heater and then we cook them until they're ready. Well, that's not quite what we're doing. We do a proper treatment and Sabrina is not scared because she knows she can get out any moment. But it's something that we thought we show you and we take you through the whole process. Now, Sabrina is a professional. She's done many times the hypothermia sauna treatment. And through that, she develops fever quite fast. And we've set up here our little temperature gauge on the iPhone so that I can show you the curve, how it works. And we've just started. It's been inserted and she's 37.3 degrees right now. And we follow through the whole program. Now we cut in between. You don't have to wait for three hours. So we just show you so short segments of the treatment as we go through and how we do it right here at home. We're now 18 minutes into the treatment and I'm holding the camera. Sabrina has now started with increasing fever. She's 37.5. It's slowly going up and we've set up oxygen, pure oxygen to inhale to boost the treatment. It's one of the most pleasant things if you have at the same time a cooling of the head and I always enjoy having oxygen as well. Having oxygen during the treatment makes it a lot easier and a lot stronger. Now one thing which is really important, Sabrina has now reached 37.7 which means her fever is going up quite steep which means we have to hydrate and she's already drunk the first glass so what we do is really just take a glass of water and that was a little bit little but that's it now we use three heaped teaspoons and we've already done one and we're doing now a second glass so that her body is completely perfused with high dose vitamin C and because the bioenergy C is taken up by the body really really well you can almost simulate um, IV treatment. It certainly doesn't give you diarrhea. Now one thing is really important when you um, have a client that you want to feed. You don't have them drink and swallow in a strange way so you need a straw so that they can drink very easily and this way they get from the bottom all the vitamin C as well and you just keep that up as a constant action. Okay, folks, now Sabrina had a tiny little bit of a stress factor at around 38.2. That was when she said, I don't want to go any further. But then not she... Not really true. Not really true. No, I didn't say I, didn't, I don't want to go higher. It's just like, it's, it's more difficult until you get to 38.2. It's a little bit, uh, it's difficult to describe. It's not panic, but it's like... It's hot, it's hot, hot. It's hot, yeah. <laughs> and it's now she's gone very, very fast from 38.345 and she just hit the 38.6 mark, which means normally she would go longer. But what we do now is we turn it off. Just like we just like to show you how that works. We turn off the power, which means the whole instrument is off. There is no more heat that is induced into the body and we're now just observing the temperature and we keep on doing what we did before we just follow through with the same treatment okay now okay so from 38.2 after i i actually got over that tiny little bit of panic it's actually really nice uh, i don't, i would be able to continue yeah i don't have any problems you know like heaviness or pulse or anything it's just it's nice and hot and that's all so i feel good yeah that's it's very it's very important to get the head cooled yeah so i need that definitely because all the heat is in the head that cloth is really nice and don't forget don't forget to drink now you know we haven't we don't put any more heat into the body it's actually turned off and there is no more power going in but you will see because the body has developed now a reaction a fever reaction that the temperature is still going up and it's just climbed up to 38.67 so it flicks between so that's something that you will have to observe so always turn it off at 38.5 
that you see how your body reacts because you can't, don't want to go higher and then it moves up and then you have to control by cooling. Rather start really by training the body instead of creating high fevers. <laughs> a loving, tender care is really nice too. <laughs> and in a way, I quite like our high-tech medical center here with our temperature gauge right beside us. There is a little device that's called uh, In Your Face. And it's a, a stand that you can order um, online. And then it's where you clip your iPhone on and you can clip that anywhere you like with a little clip. And I love that thing because especially in a condition like that where you want to have a close on monitoring of what you do, especially if you do it on your own, the cable is just long enough and you can see it's 38.7 now, constant, so it's gone up and I would guess we would reach something like 38.9 just by, by um, own fever reaction that the body keeps going. Well, the iPhone is turned on airplane mode. Just wanted to add that. Yeah, Sabrina was very adamant that we turn the iPhone on airplane mode so that it doesn't have any radiation well, close wanna, to her head. I don't want to lay in a non-EMF sauna <laughs> and then have... Uh, EMF beside your beside ear. Beside <laughs> my ear, so very particular to have no EMFs. And like we said at the beginning, you don't need to have that intense treatment. You just no. use it as a beauty detox treatment, yeah. as a sauna. And then you are in there for half an hour, and that's fine. Yeah. Well, you can do one a week as a sauna, and you can do one a week as a fever therapy. As you can see, the temperature curve, I've just pulled it together now. We started at 35, that was outside temperature. It's pretty warm already without heating. And then Sabrina put it um, in and it went up to 37 and we have now 38.7. Okay, we, tu we turned off the sauna when I reached 38.5 Celsius temperature. And then I went up naturally to 38.9. And even um, the inside of the dome is actually quite cool compared to my inner heat. So I feel like that I'm having a real temperature. So it's not bad. I'm feeling very well. But it feels like I have the, the fever now. So and you stayed, you stayed in there now still, for almost 45 minutes. And, and you're still, still at 39.9. 38.9. 38.9. Yeah. So you've been holding the fever now for 45 minutes completely yeah. consistent. Without, without being a heat in there. So it's actually quite cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's how you feel. <laughs> how I feel it. It's cool. It's probably not cool for anyone else. But for me, before compared to before, when it heated up, it's quite cool. Yeah. But I feel my inner heat now, yeah. Very good. So 15 more minutes and then you're done. Ready, cooked. Yeah, it's good. All right. Now, Sabrina has still 38.9, so close to 39 fever, after one hour, which means she's done. And that means we want to get her to cool down. A very easy way is to just lift up here, roll up a towel and put that in between so that the hot air can go out. You don't want to take someone out of the hot room, shocking into the cold. And we have winter here, so it's actually really quite cool in here. So you want to cool her down a little bit to, let's say, 38.5. And you do that by... Huh? It's already cold. It's already cold? I don't like that. <laughs> well, she likes the heat now, before she was moaning. But um, you cool her down a little bit, and then what would you would do is to wrap the patient into a towel and really rub them off. Sabrina is doing a lot of normal fine infrared sauna. We have like a big wooden sauna right behind here. And um, the difference between the sauna dome and actually the hypothermia treatment compared to a normal sauna is huge. Yeah, it's, it's a totally different feeling. So the heat up is totally different. When you sit in there, even if you have your head in the wooden one, uh, you don't get that hot as I'm getting, I'm hot now. The same as the body, I probably never reach that fever in my normal wooden fire infrared sauna as I did now. 
and I'm yeah. feeling really good. I've actually tried. I stayed in there for one and a half hours and I had no core temperature rising whatsoever. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, really, it's really difficult to explain. It's a total different feeling of heating up the body as if you sit in there. And you can see it now, Sabrina is still, even though she had a shower and she rubbed off, completely hot and it really feels as if she has a proper fever. So that will last at least for another hour or two until she slowly cools down. And that's where your immune system is working. That's when the whole effect of that treatment actually comes through. So don't plan it that you go right afterwards to work. This is a treatment that takes about an hour, hour and a half to heat up, then an hour to stay in the sauna, and then possibly another hour just to calm down and get quiet. Some patients sleep after that. They go straight to bed. It's late night now, so we can go to bed. Or I'm, I'm, I'm not tired. You're not tired, but... No. But um, it didn't. It didn't tire. You still me. have fever. <laughs> it didn't tire me out. Yeah. I'm not feeling exhausted. Yeah. Yeah. So sure, it's nice to lay in bed. <laughs> I did. I'm not feeling exhausted. Yeah. So good. 